Hi folks and welcome to this week's edition of Outdoors with Bob Coker. We're still at Haker Safari Ranch. Don't want to leave. In Lakey, Texas and we are having a blast seeing all kinds of animals. Free range exotic animals folks. That's right folks, we're going to show you the kills we had from last week's show. We're going to show you Dana's black buck. And Bob's axis deer. Man, they were exciting. <laughs> Dana, as you can see from the scoreboard, you're seven points ahead, a measly seven points. Folks, this is the last episode, this is the finale for this contest, I gotta pull something or rabbit out of the hat or something. Folks, y'all stay tuned, we'll be right back with Bob's Hawaiian Ram Hunt. All right, folks, we're back. Let's take you to my Hawaiian ram hunt where I am going to pull ahead of Dana. We'll see. Bob spotted a group of rams bedding in the shade. I got the wind right and I started my stall. They were bedded just on the other side of this piled up brush. Well, they're not bedded anymore. Did go all the way through. It was sticking out the other side. Yeah. That center punched him, but it didn't go all the way through. I'm a little concerned with the penetration. Like 
set that air in this wind now. How you can hear it was whooping it up. That new fledge kept it true for almost a 40 yard shot. Quartering away, rammed it right up into his hole. No pun intended, but it rammed it right up into his hole. We're gonna give him about five minutes. I saw him pile up in that brush. Go over there and get our hands on him. That's horn, Dana. That's horn. It's gonna put me back ahead. <laughs> Oh, go on, Bob. You put the swack on him at, what, 40 yards yes, almost? Yes, sir. I'm going to tell you what. That should answer the question on whether or not you can use expandable broadheads to take a severe quartering away shot. These swacker broadheads, they're expandables, but that was a severe quartering away shot. That's right. And it went right up in there, hit the shoulder on the other side, and put a gaping hole in him. I tell not you what. Not just any expandable, just swackers. Just swackers. shot animals with other expandables and they'll stay outside the body cavity. Yep, will not go into that. They'll catch and, and Turn. ricochet. But these, that was proof in the pudding right there, folks. And with the wind whooping it up the way it is, these new fletch, fletchings kept it stable the entire way right to the sweet spot. I'm telling that's you That's right, what. folks. Uh, the last place you saw him on film, that's where he's down. He right went, here. went right down into this brush. and Went 40 yards. I got to tell you what, Dana. This is nice. horn now. This is horn. <laughs> and oh, this no. is going to put me up on him. <laughs> yeah, boy. Um, you do know what I'm hunting here, don't you? Yeah. An all dad, which yeah. is twice that size? Yeah, I, yeah, but hey, you got to get him on You're the ground. You're in trouble. You're this, in trouble. This one is on the ground. Uh, don't count your chickens or your all dads before they're hatched. Yeah. A bird in the hands worth two in the bush. And this one's in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, we're at Haker Ranch hunting with Rhino Outdoor Adventures. Call the number at the bottom of the screen. We're hunting free range, exotics. We're hunting axis deer, all dad. Rhino can put you on them. We're still hunting. Yes, sir. <laughs>
he still needs to take about three more steps before Dana can get a shot. in the boiler room. Yeah! Free range, baby. All right. Folks, we're on here in Texas. This is a free range all day. They brought these things back in in the 30s. They escaped. They have thrived in this environment. It's just like where they came from in North Africa. I put it right behind the shoulder and he was like he didn't even know what happened to him. He ran off to 40 yards. I got another arrow in him. He's toast. Thank you, God. Thank you. <laughs> Folks, Rhino Acre, give him a call. He can put you on a lot of different animals. Free range exotics. Oh, man. I can't wait to get my hands on him. My hair is sunk up all the way to the fledges. So I know he's toast. He was completely broadside. Oh, man. I ain't got this excited in a long time. <laughs> Way to go, Dana. Ryan, buddy, you put us right in the middle of it. He sure did. Man, I <laughs> that's a hoss, man. Put the blind up Look at earlier this, this morning and brushed it in, and that afternoon, here he comes. Exactly the way you told us he was going to come. Folks, they say if it looks like bicycle handlebars, it's a trophy. You got that right. <laughs> and it Look is a trophy, man. Look at these chaps. He, oh, never, man, even, he never even knew the blind was there. That's what. That's just what amazes me. The last time we was here, they'd spot that blind first off. Just because he was facing the blind almost the entire time, he never recognized that the blind was there. And he was there, what, 15 minutes? 15 or maybe even 25 Excruciating minutes. Excruciating minutes. I know. I saw the sweat pour <laughs> off your brow. <laughs> you know how you get an adrenaline rush? Oh, he man. He was there so long, I lost it. And then when I got ready for the shot, I got it back. You made a great shot, Dana. He My did. gosh. For an odd this size, let me tell you, it, it takes a, a lot to bring one down. And, and this didn't go that far. You you put the schwack on him. I tell you, you did great, buddy. It, it's beautiful. This is by far the largest uh, odd ed taken with the bow. Oh, come on, on now. Far come it's on the now. Largest one. <laughs> come yeah. on. I think Dana's uh, got one. a little bit back on Number Bob one. now. No, 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 no. We're going to have to get tape measure before you start passing oh, no. that rumor around. we got to get a tape measure This is on. the head honcho. He folks, knows the animals. Folks, if you want to shoot free range, exotic animals, especially all dads, Rhino Outdoor Adventures. That's the guy to contact. This is the guy to put you on. I guarantee it. Well, folks, man, that was a beautiful odd ad. And it put me up by 14 points. He scored 132 inches. Yeah, but I'm on a whitetail deer hunt. This is the last hunt of the contest. And I believe I can shoot a deer that scores at least 14 yeah, inches. Yeah, I'm sure you can. But uh, I might have a couple of tricks up my sleeve, too. Yeah, we'll see about that. Whitetail deer hunt, folks, coming up. All right, folks. We're still hunting on the last evening here at Haker Safari Ranch. And all I've got to do is shoot a mediocre 10 point or a pretty good 8 point, and I'm going to beat you, Dana. Yeah. And you're going to be the one wearing that dress Fat on Highway 280. Fat <laughs> chance well, on that. The odds here. <laughs> <laughs> the odds here at Haker Safari Ranch is pretty good. You never that's know. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm you never know. You, he's got him on motion detector camera coming in here, and I'm going to do it this afternoon. This is it. Live or die, last opportunity. We're going to see who wins.
Safari Ranch. Until next week, folks. Shoot them straight, be safe, and God bless. We'll see you next week. Man, that is one on the one.